Rightio, welcome back. Uh, something that's been happening behind the scenes for a while now, probably since uh, December, is a group of us have gotten together to raise some money for a charity called Super Tees. And they make t-shirts for kids who are in hospital that need to get uh, all the tubes and testing done. It's got little spots for all those bits and pieces that go onto them. So these t-shirts that they make for them, they make them look like superheroes. They got all the spots for all the connections and things for the test so they don't have to take their clothes off or any of that stuff. So it makes it life a lot easier for them while they're going through some tough times. So the force behind this is Mr. Mark Dana and Vippen from Vippen Envisaged Designs. And they've gone out, scouted a few of us Aussie makers to find out who wants to make a hand tool. And the theme of it is it's gotta be out of pink wood. And Mark's done all the hard work of getting the wood, the pink wood, the iron bark that he's got from his own uh, work site, I think he got it from. So it's all coming together. So other people on the team, we've got Steve from that pen bloke, we've got Mario, the wood father, we've got uh, Darren from Woods the Worst That Could Happen, we've got Neil, Crafting with the Beard, we've got Scott from Scott's Custom Creations, and the driving force, Mr. Marketing, Mr. Advertising, Mr. Go Find All the Sponsors, Ash from Woodwork and Whiskers. So that super pink tea team is putting together a whole bunch of hand tools. And we're all doing something a little bit different. Some people are doing knives and metal things. Some people are doing traditional woodworking tools. In the end, it's all gonna be auctioned off as one big pink tool set to one lucky raffle winner. So there'll be details floating around on Instagram, on Mark's page, all our pages. Check out Ash's page at Woodwork and Whiskers. You'll have all the details about how to get a raffle ticket to get in the draw to win these pink tools. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my little twist on the simple marking gauge. I already had a crack at it here out of some American walnut. Little brass trim down the side for the, the little screw, okay? The prototype worked pretty well, slides up and down nice and easily. And I'm gonna put my pink twist on this guy. I'm also gonna be making a set of these dovetail guides at all the different ratios and angles. So that'll have that pink twist to it as well. So if you wanna cut your dovetails, you can choose, there'll be a three or four of them with those different ratios. So you can cut any sort of dovetail you like. So, first things first, I've got a package from Mark. I'm gonna open it up. So in this build, there's a lot of laminations and glue ups that need to occur. So there's going to be a lot of me ripping bits on the table saw to get those thin strips to laminate the iron bark with the pink veneer. These particular pieces of iron bark are a bit short to cut strips on the table saw safely. So I got most of the way through and then went over to the band saw to trim off the little bit and just sand it flush. Then, like I said, it's a matter of gluing a ton of veneers together, lots of laminations, lots of glue used in this build. This first glue up is actually the handle or the stem of the marking gauge and it was a two part glue up because I'm going for this little cross tartan design in that handle.
this next lamination that's gluing up is going to be part of the bed section of the marking gauge not the handle and that's the center part where the stem will run inside of so it's going to be the same thickness and I use the, the skateboard like laminations for the rest of the flat part of the marking gauge so I've got to check sure that everything is the same thickness The trickiest part of the whole marking gauge build is gluing up these four sections perfectly so the handle can glide easily and not too tight or too loose through the little void mortise hole in the middle there. So a lot of marking out, a lot of checking to make sure that the handle was going to be able to slide in there nice and firm and not too loose. Once it's all dried, drilling a hole for the threaded insert so the thumb screw can go in and lock the marking gauge in place when you're using it. And I've decided to cut the corners off, give it a cleaner, smoother edge when you're using it. This was my first time working with brass and it was going on the stem part of the marking gauge so that when the screw thread locks onto it, it locks onto the brass and not denting the wood. I drilled a 1mm hole for a sharpened nail to be the scribe for the marking gauge. After a quick finish, I used 5 minute epoxy to glue the brass to the rest of the stem, making sure that it was perfectly aligned so that it would slide in the base of the marking gauge nice and easily. A few coats of water-based poly really lets the pink veneers shine through and doesn't dull it in any way. Tool build is the dovetail marking guides. And I'm doing a range of dovetail markers of different angles and ratios. The process is very similar to the rest of the marking gauge build. There's a lot of laminating and gluing veneers together to get that pink and iron bark design. The most important part of these dovetail markers is the angle that you cut them on here and they have to be accurate so that your dovetails are accurate. When sanding these I didn't touch that cut edge because that's the one that needs to be the correct angle for the dovetails. And I just applied a quick coat of oil to finish these guys off. Really happy with how it came out and the use of the veneers was fun to do, especially having pink sawdust everywhere. So here's the dovetail markers, ranging from one to four, five, six, seven, eight ratios with the different angles. I've added in a little bit of veneer down the bottom and in that little part of the guide as well. And it's as simple as putting it on your workpiece, lining up the saw blade and keeping it nice and flush against the guide. Go check out Ash's page at Woodwork and Whiskers on Instagram for all the information on the auction items and the raffle. Go check out all the other makers making some pretty cool pink tools for all the kids out there to be raffled off. And until next time, I'll see you later.